Okay, so in the previous video, uh, I introduced what cubics were, and the curve of y equals x cubed. And one of the things that we really need to be able to do uh, in this chapter is being able to multiply out triple brackets. So if you're not too confident with multiplying out double brackets, um, it's going to be difficult. Okay, so I would make sure you've honed your skills on double brackets before trying triple. Um, so I'm going to work with the example that we have. This x minus 4 cubed, okay? And my suggestion to you is really leave one of the brackets alone and multiply out the other two first. So x minus 4, x minus 4, x minus 4. That's what we're looking at here. So leave one of them alone. So I'm going to leave the first one alone and I'm going to multiply out the other two brackets. So we've got x squared, uh, x times minus 4 is minus 4x. We've got another minus 4x that's minus 8x. And then we've got minus 4 times minus 4 is 16. Okay, now at this stage, okay, I would you need to multiply every term in this bracket by each of the terms in this bracket. So we've got x times x squared is x cubed, x times minus 8x is minus 8x squared, x times 16 is 16x. Now notice how I then write the next line. I'm going to do minus 4 times each of these three terms. Minus 4 times x squared is minus 4x squared. I write it under the x squareds here. Okay? Minus 4 times minus 8x is plus 32x. Okay, I write the x's together, and then minus 4 times 16 is minus 64. Okay, so it's just a way of making sure I've grouped the pieces together that I want, and it makes it easier for me to then collect like terms. So I've got x cubed minus 8x squared take away 4x squared is minus 12x squared. 16x plus 32x is 48x, take away that 64. Okay, and that is x minus 4 all cubed. Okay, so the stages that I would suggest to you is leave the first one alone, multiply out the other two, and then expand, setting it out in a similar way to this, and it makes your life a lot easier. 